So, welcome to New York Toy Fair. Uh, I'm so excited to share with you the best robot you are going to see at this show. Did somebody say something about the best robot at New York Toy Fair? <laughs> Absolutely, Bex. Who else would I be talking about? So, yes you are, Max. So, what does it mean when he says he's the best bot? Well, uh, let's give a quick demo about that. The big thing about Max is that it learns about the world around it. It learns about the world around that child. Well, they did give me this IR sensor so I could see the world around me. Yeah, so the IR sensor he's talking about is right there and it allows it basic vision. So if there's something moving in front of it, Max will actually call that out and say, hey, what's that? So let's let's do that show and tell feature. a payphone, I wouldn't use it, man. That's really dirty. Ew. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So the big thing is, as Max is learning about the world around it, it's, it's searching for certain keywords, things that would be around that child's life. Pets, favorite color, music, television, dishwashers, and as it hears these things, it's learning. So one of the things is, and you heard Max there, is that it's now learned that I have a phone, and later, at some point, it's actually gonna bring up that, you know, hey, remember when uh, you, you, you showed me that phone? You now you really need to use that phone for whatever reason. So what does this mean? The great part is, and why it's the best robot, and why I'm saying such a, a bold proclamation, is that Max is totally customizable and unique, and personalized, I should say, to that child. Because every child's different, they're gonna answer each of these questions differently. One child's gonna have a cat, the other's gonna have a dog. One child's favorite color is blue, another is pink. So what it means is Max, as it asks these questions and learns, becomes more and more and more personalized. So right, you know, as it goes along, it becomes something so totally special and unique for that kid. And again, let me reiterate. So if Max learns the word television, let's just say, as an example, the word television, a week, of, uh, an hour, a day later, Max is gonna bring that back up to the child and say, hey, remember when we were watching television? That was awesome. You know, we should, we should watch television again. So imagine that experience, a very human-like experience with a robot, and no one is doing that right now. We're the only ones doing that. So there's so many things that Max can do. Uh, on top of the faceplate that you're seeing here, gives all those expressions, all the looks, the blinks. You can actually use it to play games as well. So for those who remember Pong, because you're old enough, that's me. You can actually play Pong on its face. It has trivia games where it asks questions uh, and remembers the answers that you give it. Stem-based trivia. You can do stuff like uh, tell it joke or it tells jokes. Max at your service is another thing. You can actually fully program this to deliver things for you. Now we have a claw for the very first time. Uh, you can actually have it deliver things to your kid sister down the hall. And when I say program, what I actually mean is on the app, there's a free app, you'll have uh, a program with true drag and drop programming, like kids are learning in school. So it's actually a very powerful robotics program, as well as something that's fun and you can play games with. So there's, there's multiple levers, levels to Max, uh, and we're so very excited to bring it to market August 1st. It's $149.99, also comes with a rechargeable battery, and the big thing, I forgot to mention, is build time. So it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to build, and the important part about that is we want to get the children to play faster. Uh, you know, uh, so if somebody gets it on their birthday, they can actually build it on their birthday and play with it on their birthday. And that's Max.